I was on a camping trip with the scouts and me and my friend were put in the same tent as this weird kid. He was acting up all the time, getting into fights and showing off how many knives he had. Anyways, one night we're in our tent playing blackjack and I guess I said something that pissed him off because he started yelling at me. Well that let the scout leaders know we were still up so they told us to get to bed. I don't know how long I was asleep but I woke up to him choking me. I thrashed about and tried to get him off me, but I couldn't focus and I was panicking. I remember the tent seemed to be getting darker and how he heavy my eyelids were getting. My chest and head were hurting and aching, trying to get me to breathe, but I just felt so tired. I was starting to fade away, thinking my last thing I would hear was his laughter when, WHAM! My friend had woken up because of me struggling and him laughing and got up and started clobbering the dude. I was part coughing and part breathing once he got off me. My friend screamed for help and that got the adult's attention. He was yelled at for what he did and they shuffled around people so they, he would be sleeping in a tent alone right near the adult's tent. I got into a tent with my older brother and I must have woke up three times that night kicking and screaming from nightmares of him killing me. When we all got back from the camp his parents were told what happened and that he was banned from the scouts. They still told my mom and it must have taken the act of will of God for her not to go and kick him. He got banned from a bunch of other activities that we both did so I didn't really ever see him again. I still wake up scared from nightmares of being choked or suffocated. And while I'm pretty sound sleeper, if anyone tries to walk or get close to me while I'm asleep, I shoot up, awake, and panic. I can't even really nap with my dogs because of it. I don't know if I'll ever be able to sleep soundly around anyone ever again. We were camping out in the desert with four friends, three females and my older buddy. It was a bit weird, but cool. We're all on drugs. It's one of the girls' birthdays, and while they're all sleeping in a camper, we're sleeping in our individual tents. It starts to rain pretty heavy, night falls, and everybody returns to their designated spaces. The girls are loud, but I'm starting to fall asleep when I hear one of them call my name directly. I wake up. They're now yelling at me to come to the camper. Well, alright. Get dressed, unzip the tent, and slosh through some mud, knock on the camper door, they let me inside. They all look pale faced and shook. I ask them what's wrong and they tell me that something is outside the camper. Which they seemingly decided not to warn me about before I entered. But anywho, I looked around at the party state of the van, rolled my eyes and told them there was nothing out there. But they insisted, and made me wait with them until they heard another sound. I remind them they're on drugs, so it was probably just an auditory hallucination. But they swear it isn't, and I finally relent and sit down and wait. Minutes pass, nothing but the pitter-patter of raindrops. And then suddenly, a scratching sound. It sounded just outside of the camper. I tell them it's probably a tree branch, but they say it's something else, and to go look. I sigh, and I go grab a flashlight and head out in the rain to do a circle of the camper. Nothing was there. No footprints in the mud, no tree branches anywhere close by either. Weird, but nothing there, so I go back in and tell them the coast is clear. They're shook and so unsure, so I offer to just sleep there on the floor for a bit. I'm starting to doze off again when I hear a voice whisper, Psst, can you hear me? Yes, I say. I start to wake up. What's up? And the girls are all silent. One of them finally stares and says, You heard that too? It wasn't me. I sit up and look around. The other two girls are asleep. We're staring into each other's eyes when suddenly, we both, clear as day, hear a child laughing in the other corner of the van. What the fuck was that? I exclaim. And the girl who was awake says she heard the laughing before and that's what scares her. So we wake up the other two to see if they're messing with us. They weren't. They were annoyed, so now I'm thinking, maybe it's someone's phone? We find all the phones and put them together as well as any other electronic devices. Suddenly there's a loud creaking sound just outside the front door. Christ. I yell out thinking maybe it was my guy friend. No response. I grab a broom and slowly open the door and peer outside, but there's no light and I can't see shit. I close the door and I'm freaking out. Now I'm wondering if some local tannies or other campers were fucking with us. We're scratching on the side of the camper. Suddenly, I remember my friend is all alone, so I start to yell at him to wake up and to bring his guns over. 
he didn't have any guns. Because I think there might be people fucking with us. After yelling for him loudly for 10 minutes, he finally wakes up and yells back that he'll be right over. He gets there immediately, I feel more secure. Two grown ass men, we can handle this. I catch him up to speed and he just mocks us and reminds us we're on drugs and probably just imagining it. But I swear it's something real and he agrees to stay in the camp on the floor with me, ready to charge into the night if need be. We go quiet, wait 5 minutes, 10, 15, falling asleep, and then the giggles. The goddamn child laughter returns from just outside the van. My friend thinks it's one of the girls messing with us and tells us to go to sleep. They swear it's not them, but he doesn't believe them and just lays back down. Not 10 seconds later, there's a loud creak sound again and scratching, and it sounds like someone is just outside. He sets up alert, looks at our horrified faces with all the same expression. We told you so. And he rushes out the camper into the darkness and rain, and we hear him fly around the van yelling. But he comes back and reports no one was there. We start to talk about the campground being haunted old burying ground or something we don't know at this point we're just jabbering on just to hear our own voices we all agree just just stay awake until the morning the sun rises the rain dries up we pack up and leave i'm getting gas in a local town when suddenly the thought hits me i go Psst, can you hear me and this is when i discover the evotron the afrans a small sadistic sinister electronic device that emits creepy sounds and can be attached to any metal surface. It was my weird friend. He hid it underneath the girl's whippet canister. In fact, it wasn't theirs. It was his canister and they lifted it from his tent while he slept. But he knew. He knew what they tried and he tricked them like a Trojan horse bringing the device into the camper. I was collateral damage and he just went with it, silently chuckling to himself, the mastermind. The goddamn mastermind. The fallout was bad between him and the girls, but I thought it was the best prank I'd ever seen pulled off to this day. Bravo. I wasn't as scared as I should have been, but my fear gene is broken and I had been drinking, so. We have a lake less than an hour from home, and my daughter's friend had never been camping, so we decided to do a quick overnight there. We, mom and daughter, 18 then, camp a lot, and we like the solitude, so we often try to find the most remote places, no campsite or anything, just to drive up and find a space. So we found this nice little peninsula big enough for about three campsites, and it being Sunday, we were hoping the other two groups would leave. They did eventually, and we had the place very much to ourselves. As the night goes on, we have a nice fire, sing, laugh. I'm drinking wine and we're making s'mores. Everything is perfect until we go to sleep. About an hour in, the girls are bugging me to wake up because it's raining and we need to put a cover on the tent. It's a huge tent, so all hands were needed. By now, the wind is blowing and we're struggling, but we finally get it covered and it's back to sleep we go until a motorcycle, more specifically a dirt bike. At about 2 a.m., just riding circles around the peninsula. Mind you, this is literally a small enough area that only three large tents plus three cars would fit. And there's nothing else nearby but bushes and the lake. There would be no reason to be there as it was obvious we were alone. Up, down, around he rides, then stops. Almost an hour this goes on, up, down, around it stop, around, around, and stop, never cutting the engine. I just want to sleep, so... I go to the front of the tent and unzip. I look outside and see him just staring. So I climb out of the tent and stare back. It's dark and I can't tell if this creep can even see me. So I go back into the tent, frustrated. The girls ask what he's doing and when I tell them, they get really frightened. I tell them I'm gonna go give them a piece of my mind. They're terrified, demand I don't leave the tent. So I settle back in and wait, up, around, circle. Engine rev, idle, over and over. This goes on for at least another hour. I've had it down, up, around. All with that annoying blighting motocross sound blasting by our tent back and forth and stop. I look out, he's staring again. I'm about to go stomping over to go tell him off when I get the tingles all down my spine. He was facing directly towards our tent, saying nothing. 
just still and staring. I realize I have no weapons, no way to protect the girls. It is between us and the car. I wait. I'm outside the tent, but I haven't made a move forward because now instinct and logic have the better of me. I realize that an aggressive approach is probably the wrong move. I stay stock still, just like the rider for what felt like an eternity. Both of us staring. Must have been, been 20 minutes I just stood there. And then just like that, I took off. I drove off the peninsula and out of earshot and never came back. To this day, I'll never know what that was about or if I did the right thing. I can only say I'm glad I never confronted him. My gut just told me no. As for my daughter and I, I think I need to buy a gun and we're gonna camp alone like this. Hiking a trail in East Tennessee, I hadn't seen a soul since leaving the parking lot that morning. I make camp up on top of a rock bluff 50 yards off the trail as the sun sets. Quick dinner then, probably asleep by 7. Around 11, I wake up hearing voices which sound like muttered German. I listen for a few minutes, and I can hear footsteps and the voices coming toward the tent. I wake up my hiking partner, who hears the same thing I'm hearing. The footsteps stop what seems like 10 inches from the tent, and the same two mumbling voices. I end up the tent and look out, and there's nothing. I get my flashlight, shine around, still nothing. After a few minutes, I get back in the tent. We both try to sleep, and after a few minutes, the voices start up again, and what sounds like someone cutting a tree with an axe. My partner pulls on his boots. We both agree the sound is 10 feet away to the right of the tent. He unzips the tent slowly, and we are still hearing sounds. He jumps outside with a flashlight, heads in that direction, and nothing. We sit outside the tent for over an hour, because there's no way we're going to sleep, but we hear nothing. Eventually, we're both about to pass out, so we go back into the tent and fall asleep. Around 3.30, the axe sound starts again. We both just lie there listening, and a few minutes later, we hear the cracking and bushy sound of a falling tree. Heard and felt the thud as it hit the ground. We both jumped up and scrambled out of the tent, and there was nothing. No sound at all. No wind whistling through the trees, no bugs, no frogs. Just silence. We packed up everything in minutes but decided not to leave because climb back down to the trail was difficult in daylight and too risky in the dark. We sit there until the sun comes up without hearing the voices or acts again. We'd calmed down somewhat by that point and started searching the area. We probably went a hundred yards in every direction from our camp and there was no sign that anybody had been there and certainly no large recently fallen tree. I done dug into my battle tricks, came up with some different skits, not your average mafia, I be on some different shit, you know I'm pimping shit, that make you use your mind, so if you can fill in the blanks, do it when it's time, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, feel like I'm in hell, but I wish I wasn't, yeah, you got it, now knock it, while I rock it, I stick plugs in the socket, and money in my, yo, I get psychotic when you try to diss my staff, no props for your block, so you could just kiss my,